I've grown up in the world where the internet is everyone's lifeline. I check my email and Facebook account an average of 30 times a day, and there isn't a homework assignment I don't use Google for in some way. My generation has been bred for speed. The internet's ability to send and receive information in literally the blink of an eye only makes us wanting things to go even faster. We keep catching up to ourselves and creating technological advancements before we fully learn to operate the previous editions. Sometimes we don't realize advancements may both help us and hurt us in some way. My best friend Lauren goes to Boston College. It was hard for us when we decided to go to schools so far apart from one another because we're inseparable when we're at home. When we arrived at our prospective universities freshman year, we decided that the internet would be the main medium connecting us. Even though we're over 800 miles apart, we tell each other everything and talk nonstop. We're always on AIM when we're trying to do homework. Last week, I signed on to AIM and double-clicked on her screen name. Nothing happened. Double-click again. Nothing. I immediately called her to explain the bizarre situation, and we couldn't figure out why she was the only person on my buddy list with whom I couldn't communicate. Almost a week went by with us texting and writing on each other's Facebook walls more than usual and upset over the, over the situation. Finally, her friend from school informed me that I needed to upgrade to the new version of AOL. He said Lauren already had, and therefore our two versions weren't working in sync. After installing the upgrade, Lauren and I were able to chat again as usual. It was strange to see just how much our culture depends on the internet to keep us connected. It's not something we really think about considering our entire lives have revolved around this high-tech phenomenon.